what up, keys? And you live here, but with another advanced OBS tutorial. And today we're looking at a build of OBS that's not actually released at all, and you can do source transitions. So rather than just fading in a source or changing scene to get some sort of transition, you can do that individually on any source. I mean, there's some examples that you've just seen there. Exceldro created this build, and not only that, it's actually running the latest version of OBS that isn't even out yet. Intrigued? Let's go for it. Make sure you do like the video if it has helped you out and also subscribe. I've got tons of tutorials on the way. And if you've got any questions, let me know below or come and visit me at twitch.tv forward slash Andy Lippy. Put your rock for the stone. Let's go. Right, so first things first, we need to get it all downloaded and installed. So this GitHub page is going to be in the description below. Exceldra has made this build. is an absolute legend. You're going to just basically select the platform that you want it on. I'm going to be using Windows 64. If these hyperlinks aren't available for you here, you need to make sure you've got an account logged in and set up for GitHub. Otherwise, you won't be able to download it. And then just click on the one that you want. I'm going to be going through the Windows 64 version. I'm going to go back to my downloads folder because, again, Blue Peter, you, Blue Peter it up. Here's one I made earlier. You'll have this compress file with this long name just here. You're going to right click on that and press extract all. And it'll pull out this folder just here. Open that. Oh, what a surprise. There's another compress file. We're going to right click on that. Hit extract all and put it here. And this is the one uh, where we can call it something. So I'm going to put Pro OBS Build because it's it's the best one. It's the best one. Uh, and then now this is our OBS folder just here. So we can ignore every other folder. So inside here, you've got three folders. And I've spoke about this in my last episode about portable mode. So definitely check that out just up here if you're wondering how I've entered portable mode and what that's about because you don't want to make changes to stuff and ruin your current scenes and stuff like that inside of OBS so run this as a fresh install okay and it'll just save you a lot of headache and you won't ruin any of your scenes that you've got set up so I'm just going to set that up now by typing in portable mode underscore mode just here as a text document and that's it go to bin 64 bit and you'll see that the OBS is just there if I double click on that, Windows is going to protect PC. Tell Windows to jog on. We're, we're getting right into it. And you'll see I've got a fresh version of OBS just here. That I'm just going to press cancel on the auto configuration wizard. And you can see there's a couple of changes in this version of, of OBS. So, for instance, I've got this no source selected properties filters thing. You've got webcam. You've got loads of stuff. Again, Epos Fox has done an incredible video on that. Go and check out all the feature set on there but for now I'm just gonna use this one scene and add a source so I'm gonna add I'm gonna add a color source I'm gonna add a couple of different sources okay so I'm gonna choose a really disgusting green color and I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller um, to no I mean I'll leave this one full screen and then I'm gonna add another source I'm gonna get a image just here just call it image call it whatever you want this is just giving you a demonstration on exactly how it works jumping in my google drive i'm sure there's no there we go that's an ugly i don't know why i've got all these ugly photos saved i i don't know i don't know so now we've got two sources normally to do transitions you'd have to change scene but now we can right click on a source go to show transition and hide transition so show is when we press the eye and the eye turns on It'll do a transition when it turns on, and hide is when we unhide, uh, when we hide it, sorry, uh, it'll do a transition then. So, an example for you, show transition, we can use all the standard ones, the cut, fade, swipe, slide. So, I'll do a swipe for you now, just here, we'll swipe in left, so when we turn it on, it'll swipe in left just as so and that's the same for every other one you can change the duration at the bottom of here so if I want that to last longer I can change it to say a thousand just there so it'll do a slower swipe just like so and we're not changing scene at all as you can see I've only got one scene uh, and the source just here we can do also luma wipes which are awesome so if we press luma wipe some of these don't work exactly as intended so it depends what sort of thing that you're looking for so I'll, I'll try blinds you can preview it and it doesn't really show you the preview because uh, OBS wants to kind of do a full transition and not a source transition uh, you can change the softness just here so if I press on you'll see 
I get the blind effect just like so. And this is all the same as um, swiping something out, for instance. So I'm going to do a slide this time. I'm going to get it to slide down. So now when I turn the source off, swipes down. Blind in, swipe down. So you can obviously set this up on anything that you're using, like a Stream Deck, uh, also Touch Portal, Leoran Board, for showing and hiding a source uh, that'll automatically play it on there for you. So you can use this, like I say, on as many different sources as you want and create some really cool dynamic effects. Say if you start using a set of ma uh, macros and make a long macro, you could make a, a huge transition where your camera might take a second to come in, the game comes in afterwards, something else comes in, and then something fades on top. Like, it kind of opens so many avenues to make things a little bit more dynamic on your stream. If you want to get some kind of ideas on what I do with mine, go to twitch.tv forward slash Andy Lippy and you'll see some of the cool stuff that I'm doing on there. And if you've got any questions, just ask me or pop them in the comments below, okay guys? Hopefully this has helped you out. If you if you are enjoying this version of OBS, make sure you have liked the video. Also subscribe because there's tons of different features that I'm showcasing that are going to take your streams to the next level. I mean... I take the time to learn all this stuff so you don't have to, alright? I'm just trying to make it easy for you, okay, guys? So, I'll see you in the next video. Put your rocket with the stone. Much love.